Dayton took his push for school aid on the road before the legislative session ends. The DFL governor visited with students at Parkview Elementary School in Rosemount yesterday morning. It's in a district facing a multi-million dollar shortfall next year. Dayton wants the Republican-controlled legislature to approve nearly $140 million in aid for schools. So we're talking about the quality of education that these children depend upon, and there's no going back. There's no way back to third grade or fifth grade. If uh, that uh, resource isn't there, they, they miss out. And Pat Kessler is now live at the Capitol. Pat, so we have obviously uh, seen the governor. This has been a big, yeah. uh, big priority of his education over the years. But now that he's going to be leaving office soon, do you think that this is him sort of trying to cement his legacy a little bit by pushing this? Well, it's an interesting question, and I'd say the answer is no. He wants some emergency funding here. He wants funding, sudden funding for these schools, which he says are suddenly facing deficits. We do know that some of these school districts have, in fact, uh, defeated levies for more money for schools. The governor says if 59 school districts in Minnesota don't get this money, next year they're going to ha have to lay off teachers, lay off staffs, and maybe cut programs. So he's asking suddenly the legislature for all of this money. I got to tell you, here at the legislature, the Republicans are very skeptical. They say these schools have plenty of money to do with what they want. Might be tight, but it's not an emergency. So we're not clear at all which way this thing's going to go before the session ends. It is interesting, Pat, because typically if you have an appeal for emergency funding, there's something that triggered yeah. it, right? And here, what's the trigger? It's just all of a sudden now it's. Okay, now we have an emergency. Well, I, I guess I, I, I'm a little perplexed and, by it all. Yeah, and that's, and that's exactly what the Republicans are saying. Now, the governor's office will say that all of these schools are now getting their budgets together for next year, and they're realizing how much they're going to be short. Uh, and we have been behind on school funding. Even though money has been going into schools, uh, the, they say that they have been lagging on school funding. One important thing. Republicans say that the governor has spread out funding to a lot of different kinds of programs, like pre-K programs, all-day kindergarten, and they say some of that money could be going into the schools. So this is very controversial. At this moment, just a few days before the end of the session, I would say the governor's not going to get this money, but we're still a ways away to find out. And